Hello everybody. Today I decided to visit just a Ford store. Um, I was sitting on a nice little bench here in the shade. My car. So I usually go to that one dealership where it's a Ford and Lincoln store because it's got like the coolest inventory. I always find good stuff in there. But today I decided to just visit the Ford store, see what's what's in here. Uh, and I also noticed that either the parking space is getting smaller or my car is getting bigger. So that's a weird one So I, as I pulled in I kind of already did a quick walk around um, I am kind of depressed because most of their new cars and when I say cars I, I literally mean just vehicles overall are these things look at this they have like 30 of them probably in here and this is the new escape and that's really as exciting as it gets like it's this okay this hybrid whatever but like what is this like that's that's what people want <laughs> okay it's got you know 12 miles i think it's a base model i gotta look at the window sticker but i noticed it was unlocked um and I'm, and the reason why I'm disappointed is because if this is the future of Ford, I don't know if I want to be a part of it. Uh, if this is like their their latest and greatest, I mean, come on. I'm not saying it's a bad vehicle. First of all, why is the button on such a big slant? Look at this. The button is like facing. I don't know. I don't know what it's facing, but this is like the oddest placement of a start button. Might as well put it here. Anyway, uh, so this is the future of a Ford, as we know it. I think Henry Ford would turn in his grave if that's what he, if that's what he saw. Because got cheap plastic here, and they thought they would do a fancy job with these little stars, but I don't know what they're doing here. Um, steering wheel, okay, no leather. I know it's a base model car, so got to give it credit. I'm guessing this is an accessory mode, but I could be wrong. Glove box is okay. No, no accessory mode. Nothing. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize my finger was in the way. I think the best thing about this car is that I could see my car from it. That's probably the best. Got this rotary shifter thing. I don't know what that is. A credit card holder. Probably some modes. Auto start stop. All black plastic. I mean, I know this is, like I said, I, I, I keep saying that, but it's a base model probably cost i don't know 30 grand maybe less maybe 28 something like that all right but then started looking around so there's a hybrid version for 38,000, but it is locked uh let's look just so i can kind of get the baseline for these things yeah 20 28 let's see 28 350 so it's a base escape, front wheel drive, 1.5 EcoBoost with start stop technology. It's getting good gas mileage, I guess. Yeah, there's there's no options on this thing, so it's a base kind of model. But really, I mean, is this is this what it's all coming to? Ah, depression sits sets in. So anyway, so I walked around. Uh, I don't really see anything that's of interest, but um, there is, they do have a back lot, which is fenced off with barbed wire. I, I know some dealerships have that, but I mean, is that really necessary? So it's, it's over there. We're, we're going to go there at the end, but then they kind of have a few cars down here, which I'm guessing like they're, you know, manager special or whatever. So save 11,000 on a hybrid, judging by the mirrors, it's locked. Yes. But then 16599 sale. Um, 26. So from so it's a 2020. I don't know if it has any miles on it or not, but so what do you get for 16,55? First of all, what is this? It's a Ford Fusion. It's an SC EcoBoost Fusion. Okay. Got the sales office right here. Nobody in there. All right, so twin for a 2020 model, got 3,700 miles. So it's like a demo, probably. 
So for 16 grand, what do you get? Well, you do get the power seat. Let's see. Can I adjust this somehow? Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. It's on this side. No? All right. That's in the most up position. I think maybe the seat is way too high. Yeah, there you go. First of all, thank God the battery works. Okay. All right. So for 16.55, what do you get? You got 3,000 miles, so might as well consider this almost new. This weird trim piece. Um... I don't know. 160 mile speedometer. I highly doubt that. So this is a base model Fusion with probably an option or two, which I, I should have looked. But it does have cruise control that's uh, radar, radar guided. So that's interesting. Let's see, there you go. Okay, take that. Just your other basic controls. They have a four-way buttons here, which you do have the two screens. Let's see. Yeah, no key detected, okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen the base climate control here. Look at this. Blank switches on a climate control. That's never good. Uh, but you do have the plus and the minus. Okay, obviously, like, maybe that's for heated seats or something like that. But, I mean, come on, really? Blank switch on a on a climate control? Do do have nice cubbies there. See, I wonder if this is going to work. All right, does work. Mm, okay, it does have nav, which is which is weird. You can kind of see where this dealership is. All right, well, it's responsive enough. Eh, could be more responsive, I guess. Uh, okay, well, it's not the worst, but it's probably not the best either. All right, fair enough. Glasses holder right there. Go box. Okay, obviously cloth seats. So they're fairly, they're fairly decent. All right. Got some sort of an S button. You have the auto start stop. Back seats are pretty small, I think. I mean, it, I understand that it's a Fusion after all. So let me set my driving position as I would. Yeah, I think like this. Oh, it's got lane departure warning. I didn't see that button. Let's see how does it go uh, all right well kind of it's trying to focus but anyway you get the point the trunk the trunk is probably decent all right let's look at the back i guess you can kind of hear in my voice that i'm not too thrilled so i know this is my quote-unquote shopping video but definitely not shopping for this thing Back seat, you know, it's it's fairly fine. This is where I would sit. I'm 5'11", so. Huh. I like how on the police interceptor they use the same type of setup for the red lights. Oh, you do have vents in the back. That's nice. And a power port. And let's see, armrest. Yep, armrest with a couple cup holders. Nothing nothing else. Uh, you know, once again, for, for 16'5", maybe that's a decent car. I mean, it's all basic, so it's not going to wow anybody but i guess for our basic transportation i guess it's passable so trunk ah, trunk is decent all right well anyway so definitely not shopping for this they do, have, they do have a raptor but that's locked so it's nice it looks nice they do have a ford explorer st which is like the top of the line ford explorer like the fastest one i think it has like the uh, let's see. See, I don't know. Like, all the engine and stuff, that's really not my forte. But it is locked. Oh, it's got the quad exhaust, which is nice. ST badge, okay. See, window sticker, window sticker. 59,740. Yeah, it's got the three liter eco boost engine. So, it's like the highest output. Doesn't get the best gas mileage, probably. Look at these wheels. Mm. Let me, I guess, let me just go back, sorry. Got to check to see if it's got options or not. No, you know what, it doesn't, it has a co-pilot assist. So that's probably that cruise control. That's the fancy thing for 650 bucks. Yeah, actually, I did approach it earlier. It is locked, but it does look nice. It's a nice truck, even for a person who's not in the trucks. It's a nice truck. Look at this. Look how big this Ford is. Ooh. So this lot right here. 
it is locked. I, I barbed wire. I mean, is this really necessary? I don't know. But you can kind of see. Let's see if I can sneak it in here. See, you can see a police interceptor SUV right there. You actually got a couple of them. We do have a Taurus US Navy so we do have a Great Lakes Navy base not too far away from here so it's probably why it's here eh. I mean I would love to go in there and see if any of them are unlocked but I am NOT breaking and entering that's for sure and I'm not cutting the the barbed wire although you know when I looked down here I always thought that the barbed wire should be facing the place where you would most likely have a break-in. So this this area right here, it's facing, like it would make it a lot more difficult for somebody to climb over if it was facing like the direction of the lot, like where I'm standing. So I don't know, maybe I don't get something about barbed wire. Unless they want to prevent people from climbing out, maybe that's the, maybe that's the goal. But it's got, it's got like an Amazon truck in there. So who knows? But yeah, that's what that's what I was kind of talking about. Like I'm I'm walking around this place. I want to shoot some videos and I want to see what's new. But there's really nothing, nothing new here. It's got these these Ford. Uh, what are these things called? EcoSport. So this particular one for 26. I mean, it's again. It's it looks like a retarded Ford Escape, which in fact does look to me at least look retarded on its own. I don't know if that's necessary. It's locked. Yeah, all these things are locked. I do have to give kudos to this dealership. They are keeping most of their cars locked. So maybe they knew I was coming. I always thought, so right up here, when I was walking around earlier, I did see a Ford Explorer that was unlocked. So this one, so let's take a look. I think this is the base Explorer right here. Yep. You can kind of see by the blacked out bottom, no fog lights basic steel wheels it's so again no treatment on the mirrors just a lot of black plastic this is for 40 grand it's an uh it's again i you guys can see it so it's a ford explorer xlt 2020 with a 2.3 eco boost engine for forty thousand. uh it does not have any options at all so it's an xlt whatever it is i don't know if the xlt is uh probably either the base model or very close to the base so what do you get? Check this out. Huh, it is nice and hot. So a lot of vinyl. Seats are cloth, of course. It smells nice as a new car would. So it's again just like on a police interceptor that I filmed earlier. Okay, yeah, all this is identical. Uh, it's, got, it's got a very coarse leather on the steering wheel, but I guess it's better than nothing at this point. It's got, let's see, okay, so it starts, stop button is in this area, but I'm guessing there's no key, yep. It's got 11,000 miles, brand new. So it's got, a, you know, a pretty decent sized screen in the middle with a uh, speedometer and tachometer that's uh, analog. All right, get some uh, tunes right here. No accessory mode. What is this? Blank switches. Nice clicks. All right, I guess it doesn't want to play. All right, so this looks similar to a police interceptor too, of course. And it's got a, it's got a nice shelf for your phone. I'm not sure if it's a wireless charger. Nope. All right, storage, more shelf here. Oh, that's nice. It's got a USB port in here once again. That rotary shifter thing. Drive mode select. What is this? Some sort of a traction button, hill assist, automatic start stop, and another blank switch. Hmm. See, the seat pattern is, is nice. Deep storage with the light. Back seats are rather roomy. No, Explore, I'm, I'm not sure at this point, but I think Explore is probably their number one seller if I had to guess uh, and it's not just because of uh, fleet sales too They're like the cops and the fire fire department let me look at this engine just in case 
So for such a big vehicle, I mean, I know it's a, it's whatever, EcoBoost, turbocharged, supercharged, whatever charged. Uh, come on. All right, I need help. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that the reason why you pull it twice is it doesn't have... <laughs> See, I, I forgot about that in the, in the police interceptor video too. So anyway, so there's a uh, prop somewhere in here. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's all right. I can do this one hand. It's actually, it's, it's a very light hood. There's no insulation. As you, as you can see, you, you have all this exposed lines for your, the washers, which I don't think I've ever seen before. Just like exposed tubing. Okay, I guess whatever. Uh, a very basic engine cover. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty small engine. There's a lot of room. That's why you can stuff an SD engine in there and there still have plenty left. Some sort of other material here. There you go. They got all the engine and stuff listed, which I cannot focus on right now. What about now? There you go. 3 liter, 3.3 liter, 2.3. All right, so they have all this listed here with the belts and everything. All right, well... It is surprisingly light, I'll give it that. But anyway, what I'm trying to get it, so there's really nothing else on this lot that's worth filming. There's a Taurus over there that's locked. There's actually two Tauruses over there. There's one Lincoln MKZ that way, but once again, number one, it's locked. Number two, it's, I've already filmed enough of them. You got the Eco Sports. You have Explorers. You got that escape stuff and you have a lot of f-150s on their used car a car side uh, there's really nothing so anyway it's rather disappointing there's a Taurus no no Lincoln besides that MKZ so uh, so for a guy like me shopping for a new car I think used car market is probably the only way to go all right so thank you everybody and I will see you next time.